Welcome to fourth installment of bullet charts in Excel. In previous video, we have seen the steps to create combined bullet charts using percentage for multiple categories. Now in this video, we will now see how to create a bullet charts using absolute values for a single category and then in next video for multiple categories. So let us quickly move to our Excel sheet, which we have used in our previous data set. So here you can see I have copied the data to a blank Excel worksheet. And now we will start creating our Pista flavor bullet charts. So let us get started. This will be Pista flavor. And now this time we will be using only three categories. So first one will be bad. Second one will be acceptable. And final one will be good. So instead of using five categories, just like we have used in previous video, we are using only three. Fourth one, this is actual. And finally, the target one. So let us start with like 2,50,000. Next, 2 lakhs should be acceptable. And finally, 1 lakh should be our good category. So the total here, you can see it comes around 5,50,000. So we have just increased a little bit. Now actual will be this same one and target will be this same one. So let us quickly now select this entire stuff. Let us go to insert. Let us insert stack column. And now we will switch the rows and columns. Go to change type. Go to combo. This again we will have to change to stack column. Actual and target will be on secondary axis. Actual will be stack column. Target will be line with markers. Let us click OK. Now let us click format. Let us go to this drop down and let us select series bad. Once the series is selected, press Ctrl 1. This window will open up. Make the gap width as 0. So that a little bit, it looks like a bullet chart. Now we will have to quickly fix this secondary axis. In last videos, we have seen that we have done it manually. So instead of doing it manually, this time we will be adding one more item which will be inv invisible. So what this will be? So first of all, we will have to take a sum of all of these categories and subtract our actual value so that we will get this additional item. So let us encode this after selecting the chart, increase this data range and it gets encoded. Immediately you can see a new dot is appearing up over here. Now we don't want this new dot to be displayed here like this. We want it to be stacked over our actual data set. So let us go to chart design, change type, this will be stack column. So let us click OK. Now here immediately you can see our secondary axis is also get automatically synchronized with our primary vertical axis and additional data set has been stacked above our actual values. So let us quickly select this, go to format and then from shape fill, click no shape fill so that it becomes invisible. Now let us quickly format our primary and secondary axis by selecting them go to axis options, display it will be in thousand. Similarly, do it for secondary axis thousands. And now let us quickly delete this. So you will have to do this so that the formatting remains consistent across. Now let us quickly format this now a little bit. Let us select this lines, horizontal lines, which we don't want and delete them. Let us select this vertical axis, go to this painter icon, solid line. This can be a gray color line so that we know where exactly it is getting marked. Now we will have to change the colors. So let us first select this right click. Fill will be red color for this. This can be our orange color. This is fine. Then this will be our green color for good one. Now let us select quickly actual values. This fill will be gray color and now we need to have a marker for this dot so we can use the same horizontal line which we have used in our previous video now let us copy and paste it over here and let us see whether it looks fine i'm selecting this and it looks fine to me so this is fine so as of now this is fine now we will have to add our legends so for that again we will have to increase our width of this chart go to legend click right and it gets added over here. So invisible we don't want. Let us click on this invisible twice and it gets selected and then delete it so that it gets removed. 
now i will be using our snipping tool let us quickly snip this lesion and paste it over here we'll be using this same one let us select this lesion and delete it now again adjust this column or chart width so that it looks proper with this line now quickly drag and put it over here now we'll have to remove the borders for this chart from shape outline no outline and let us quickly adjust our legend also by decreasing the height and width with corners and this looks fine to me so here you can quickly see that we have prepared our bullet charts with our absolute values for a single cat category or a single flavor pista flavor now in next video we'll be looking at how to create this chart for multiple categories or multiple flavors in one go itself so stay tuned guys see you guys in next video